This video is going to show you how to calculate the velocity from a position versus time graph. Here's the graph, and here's the question we're going to use to uh, investigate this. Calculate the velocity at 5 seconds. So what I know from physics is that on a position versus time graph, the slope is the velocity. So really, in math terms, what this question is asking me to do is to calculate the slope at 5 seconds. Slope is rise over run. So on this graph, that's going to be the displacement divided by the change in time. So at 5 seconds, I'll go up to hit the curve, and I can see that I have a dot on this straight line. So what I need to do now is I need to find the slope of the line, because I know the slope of this line between 3 and 6 seconds is the same everywhere. It's the same at 3.5, at 4, 4.5, 5. It, it, the slope is the same. So I need to pick two points. I'm going to choose two points where the line seems to go through the little corners of the squares of the graph. I'm going to pick six seconds where the position is zero. That's going to be my final. And my initial, which happens earlier in time, is going to be at three seconds. And that's going to be at a position of six meters. So the displacement is the difference between these two positions. That's going to be the final minus initial, which is zero minus six. So that's negative six meters. The time is going to come as uh, from the time between the two points that I picked. So six minus three, three seconds. So the slope is negative 6 meters over 3 seconds, which is negative 2, and the units are the units of the rise divided by units of the run. So it's going to be units of the rise are meters, units of the run are seconds, so it's negative 2 meters per second.